Uh, I'd like to take a moment to reiterate on uh, Mr. Wilson's previous question involving art, uh, because I feel as though this subject is uh, too important to be understated. Uh, the subject is personal to me because art is something that is very prominent in my life. Uh, throughout my schooling, I would consider myself to be average in most subjects, but I've always been deemed exceptional in art. Quite honestly, it would be a disservice to myself if I chose to pursue a career in any other field. Unfortunately, Rochester High School has not given me an ample opportunity to achieve my goals. For many years, our school corporations had a strong art program with teachers in all four buildings and students going on to college to pursue art degrees. Our current situation, however, is a different story. Rochester schools currently have one teacher designated to both elementary schools and another designated to the secondary schools. These teachers are expected to meet state standards just as teachers are, ex are expected to meet standards in math, language arts, and so on. I can only imagine how frustrating it must be for these teachers as they attempt to instill a love for art into the hearts of their students and fail as a result of financial cutbacks. As a student pursuing art, quite frankly, I feel cheated. I've not been given ample opportunity to increase or enhance my artistic abilities, and as I apply to colleges, it has proven to be rather difficult. Unfortunately, the arts have been affected most in today's educational systems. The scenario that's at hand is simply unfortunate, especially when considering that everything you see around you was developed by some type of artist. The clothes you put on in the morning, the vehicles you drive to work, and the cell phones that are hopefully turned off in your pockets have all been, des has all been designed by artists with humble beginnings much like mine. Art is a vital aspect of our society, yet it is often the first to go when budgets get tight. Finally, my question for you is what steps, if any, would you take in improving the art programs of our school corporation? The last word was art programs. Yes. I'll stick with my initial answer. First of all, I would say I'm sorry that you feel that you have not been served well as a student of Rochester High School as an individual. However, the school board never ever sat around the table and decided how many art teachers we would have, music teachers we would have, librarians we would have, or, or physical education teachers, or what kinds of special times would be arranged. That is not in the purview of the school board. I'll go back to my same point. Once we have an evaluation and the impact of the intended outcomes for whatever took place, the school board was aware that there was conversations during the downsizing opportunity. We were, we were very well aware those conversations were taking place, but we had never any time voted on anything other than a contract that we agreed to with RCTA at the end of the, uh, at the end of whatever discussions actually took place. So um, I would look at the facts and, and I would find out how the facts of what we're currently doing stack up individual interests and group interests interests all taken in perspective, but I would see where the facts stand up with the intended outcomes, and I would take action based on the information that was given to me. Yeah, at first blush, two teachers for 1,840 students does seem a touch low. Um, once again, the school board sets policy, and our superintendent makes decisions along with our principals and that of, of what we need and where. I would wholeheartedly, if the budget allows it, and I qualify that with if the budget allows it. It, it. it hurts me because I still remember, and her name was Mrs. Smith, my high school art teacher, I do. And there are Tom Finnicles who taught you English and hanging participles and all those things. They teach you more things than just things in a classroom. If the budget's there for the art teacher, and that's one of our low or our high priorities where we have a low number of teachers, absolutely, I'm all in favor of it. Uh, I, like I said before, I think academics, your arts, your athletics, they all play a piece of the puzzle for you as a well-rounded person. If we're falling short after looking at the study, seeing where we should or if there is a number per capita we should have art teachers, that we need to have that many and we can afford it, absolutely I would be in favor of it. Yeah, thank you for the question. I think as a, uh, as a potential school board member, I'm the kind of person that um, you know, I appreciate the data and the studies. I'm a little less likely to, um, to sit around and wait. And my idea or my proposal as a, as a platform, as a candidate, is that I'm coming to bring fresh ideas and to try to bring fresh solutions. And that was part of my first answer was, you know, a, a, an ideal person like Caleb 
might benefit from the over 15 art classes that are at Ivy Tech, uh, the, the new building across the street that, that uh, is, is moderately underutilized. So we uh, have an opportunity there to ask new questions and to try to find solutions. You know, there is a chain of command and in this case, you know, this, this would fall underneath the board. The board does handles policy, the board handles the uh, superintendent, and the board also handles um, appeals. And this would be an appeal. Sometimes the board has to also look at things when there's a uh, large gap in our, our system. So that would be the step that I would take. Um, this is really an issue beyond the Rochester schools. It is a funding issue. And so, Caleb, I thank you so much for asking, and I want you, I would hope you would go tell our state senator and our representative how passionate you are about making sure that schools are funded fully um, so that they will listen to that and hear that, because we do need more art teachers and more music teachers. I don't think that the school board went about in some sort of malicious way, what happened is those teachers were lost to attrition. Those teachers retired, and so then their, their spots were not filled. Um, that was during a time where we just had to make major cuts. But there were people on the board and the superintendent at the time, and the sacrifices made by the staff means that we're in a little bit better position now. We can't hire back every teacher position that was lost, but we could have hired back two. And one of them, I propose, would have been art. That wouldn't fulfill it back to four, but it would be three and provide more people in there. I knew that we didn't have enough because my sons were being taught, two of them, the younger ones, by an unlicensed teacher. And I did not feel that was appropriate at all. <laughs>